Well, we're here again. Are you really gonna go see Larinet? Larinet? I mean, sorry, it's the wrong sound in there. <laughs> you really wanna see her, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I sound like you kind of right now because of. Do I really have to stay quiet? Well, unless you want her to suspect something's wrong with the cat. Me, mm. it is, I guess. Here, let me practice. How's that? Sounds good to me. Try the purr. Mm, the purr? You know, purr like a kitten. I don't know how to do that. Huh. Then I'll let Marinette figure that one out for you. Uh. Anyway, it's Christmas time. Think you better get up there and say hey to her. Um. You know, I have a better idea. Here, hop into my arms. Uh, come again. Just jump in my arms. Mm. I know you can do better than that. Come on, Adrian, you're better than this. Uh. Oh. Well, that's one way to catch you. Okay, I guess we'll climb up here now. What are you doing? I'm climbing onto your back. Ow, yeah, your claws, your claws. Sorry, so I can hold on to you while you go up to her balcony. Hmm. There she is. Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the purr you wish tonight. <laughs> Kanoir, <laughs> it's nice to see you again. <laughs> you too. Odd. There's a kitten on your back. Uh, yeah. I found this little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Uh, wait a minute. Ow! <gasps> Like you do. Uh, tap. <laughs> <laughs> so, does he have a name? Uh, I don't know. Do you have a name for him? You're just sitting there with your arm up, holding your. Was that your fist holding up your face? Pretty much. What are you gonna name him? Well. He reminds you with those green eyes. Meow. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> She's nuzzling me. She's nuzzling me with her nose. This is cool. Don't get touched, the kitten. I might have to bring him home soon. Wow. What? You know you don't. Oh, I see. You like this attention. Hmm. Well, I guess you can play one for a little bit, Marinette. Well, thanks for the permission, Cat Noir. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I think I'll call you... My best friend's name. I'm sure you wouldn't mind being two agents in the world, right? Uh, best friend? I'm... Her best friend? I never established that, but... Hey, I'll agree. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he 
He's eating this up. Look at him. I swear the kitty I could blush he would. Blush? Cats don't blush. Or do they? His first a little bit tempted here. Well you are rubbing his cheeks, so of course he's gonna have some type of effect from it. Scratching your chin again? Just wondering how long you plan on keeping this kitten? For a little while. He seems a lot fun. <laughs> what you getting into, kitty? Uh oh. Oh, I have just a thing for you. These are rainbow colors from the Christmas lights, but they were leftovers. Mmm. Cat Noir. Yeah? Do you think you can help me put these up onto the sides over here? It's not funny, Adrian. <laughs> uh, sure. I can't believe I'm doing manual labor here. Okay, are you here? Mm-hmm. Don't forget, kid. This is your body we're talking about. You're already scratched up, so I don't want to torture you too much. But if I get damaged, you get damaged too. It's not so. Uh. Alright, right there. And attach that. Whoa! <laughs> uh. Okay, our face is almost touched. <sighs> Protective little guy, isn't he? He almost like you're about to kiss me, Cat Noir, and he just went, Look at him, you're all ballistic. Yeah. Well, I don't think he has to worry too much. I already have someone I like a lot, so it's okay. Who? Oh. It doesn't matter. I think you already know. Oh, Ladybug. That's right, you told me a while back. You still have feelings for her? She will never return my feelings, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, where is he going? Hmm, he's looking for something. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot all about this little guy. What do you have in your pocket, Kenor? Uh, hmm? Well, this. <laughs> it looks like an ordinary pen. It comes apart. It has two lasers in it. It has a red laser and a blue one. The top button, right here, is the red one. See? Watch when he jumps. Chasing it. Yep. He's going around and boom, he hit the wall. You meant to do that on purpose, Cat Noir. Are you okay, Trian? Oh. She is actually eating this up. And then the second light is a white light. It's the flashlight. Oh, that's cool. And it's on a red pen. Let me see it. That is so cool. I never see anything like it. Mm. What do you think, Adrian? Yeah. He's purring. Good. I wonder if he was ever going to do that. That's a pretty loud purr. 
Hmm. You might have to keep it for a while. Uh huh? He had it in his mouth. Come here, kitty. Don't you want me to play with it with you? Come on. Come on, bring... <laughs> bring Merit at the pen. Come on. Come on, Adrian. Oh, he's so fast. He moves a lot. <laughs> oh, look at his eyes. Can't resist those kittenish eyes. Do you want me to play with the laser light with you? Come on. It's a laser pointer. You can be fun. I guess I'm not get too attached, so we have to take him home soon. Yeah, that's about true. <sighs> so, tell me, Marinette, how long have you been wanting a kitten? A long time. I've always wanted one. I mean, one that I could get along with, you know, because. Why don't you like cats? I'm... I'm allergic to them? You're allergic to cats? Well, I mean... Oh, don't give me those eyes. I'm sorry, Adrian, but I am. I'm allergic to cats. Have you ever seen me pick one up? Actually pick one up? Without sneezing or something? I always say that I'm not nothing but trouble, but the truth is, I'm the one who's so much trouble. Look at you swaying your tail. That is so cute. I. You we pick you up, don't you? How can you resist that? And he's tugging on your sheet too. Sadly, Marinette, but who works? Um, maybe better call you. Can you say Mary or Mari? Mary. <laughs> That's good. Mari? Mari. <laughs> okay, that works. I so much like him. I mean, for a cat, I mean. What am I talking about? <laughs> He's. Not even here, he's not. I think you got a lot to talk about, don't you? Adrian, a true friend of yours? Yeah. But he's much more than that. He's. Oh, do tell. This is quite interesting. Christmas. I thought that he was with his family and ran away. No one could find him. We all searched desperately for him. I 
and at the end of the night when we all finally caught up together that's when I saw him we all talked Mr. Gabriel Crest to uh, to allow him to see his friends because no one should be along for Christmas especially Adrian what would you want to do this Christmas? curiously speaking mm, I don't know something different I guess what do you suggest? well since you need practice what's wrong kitty? I wasn't suggesting me Adrian jeez I was only pulling your tail Ugh. protective little bugger isn't he well I guess he has a right to be you're not exactly unattractive Marinette uh thanks mm. my kittens give you some bad stares right now Adrian, are you okay? You're acting really strange. Even for a kitten. There's no way he could be a kitten, right? There's like little magical powers to turn someone into a kitten, right? I don't know. What do you think? Could he be a magic kitten? <laughs> You know well he could be let's find out you see being can of war and our demigod has some of the abilities here watch this with his fur I touch it like Christmas lights. So cute. Yeah, like a moon ring. Pretty cool, right? Magic kitten, huh? Has the magic kitten got a home? I think he does now. Yours. Um, that is to say, for the night. tonight what is that there It's a speck on him. A speck? He must have got some of the glitter on his fur. It's kind of cute though. And what's he doing now? I guess he wants you to come over there. What is that cat up to? Oh. <laughs> no, he didn't. And she's 
falling for it too. This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. And he's hopping on things. What are you up to, kitten? something. Um, mistletoe? Oh. It looks like the kitten wants you to give him a kiss on the mistletoe. M mistletoe? I, I can't do that. Is he forgetting I'm allergic to kittens? But his ears pulled back like that it makes him so sad. Should I make an exception? Mm -mm. Whenever you're ready. I think you better do it quickly as you can. You're a strange kitten, you know that? But it's Christmas Eve and <laughs> there. Oh my god, he fell over. Is he okay? I think he's just fine. No 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 no. He just fell over. I kissed him right there on his nose and he fell over onto his back. Are you okay, kitten? Okay, that's odd. Are you sure you're okay? Falling over is the best solution to that problem. Oh. And now he's wagging the finger at me. And shaking his head no. Hmm. Well, looks like our visit's over. Yeah. Oh, come on, Adrian. Or should we say whatever kitty name you are? She's got things to do. It's Christmas. Oh, what's with the long face? I kept my promise. I brought you here. You promised me I could stay. At least for a little while. At least get to know what she's thinking. What she's doing. How she feels about me. I can't do that as Adrian. You know that. She's never going to open up to me, not the way she opens up to you, Cat Noir. Hmm. It's just different, you know? You're asking me to be here for you, but it's not going to happen. We got to get going. Please. Now what are you doing? Oh, kitty on my shoulder. I beg of you. Are you begging me like a dog? With your paws together as in a human pleads for something? Please. So you want me to find out things about her? Do you know that's deceitful, don't you? Please. And what happens if I agree to this? It'll be the best Christmas ever. You could tell me how she feels. But you said I couldn't kiss her or anything. Like she would want to. She has feelings for me, remember? Oh, that's correct. I guess I could do that just for my... 
owner. After all, you are my owner. So you'll do it? You'll talk to her? I don't know why I'm even agreeing to this, but... Sure. Why not? But you owe me one cat. I'm not really cat and Adrian. You know what I'm talking about. She wouldn't be afraid to lay with me, would she, as a kitten? She'd be okay with it, right? It's nothing wrong with it. It'd be like a mother laying with a child or something. Hmm. You're right. I guess you could try it. See what happens. So yeah, you will? Yeah, why not? Can't believe I'm great at this. But I'll do it. If it will make you happy. It will. Thanks, Cat. Uh, Plague. Yeah, yeah. You owe me something, though. A lot of can of beer when I get back. Of course. <sighs> Alright. Well, turns out the owner is not available yet. Oh, how sad. Will she be okay with him being gone this long? Yeah, I'm sure she will. After all, she's gone for a while. I hate to lie. But if it makes my owner better, I guess I could do this one. It's Christmas and... Yeah, why not? Alright. Come on. Where are you taking him? Well, I was thinking that maybe he could lay over here with you. And I could discuss some things about this Adrian guy, our friends. Adrian guy? The guy that you talk about? Oh, yeah, um... So... Why did you have a lot of posters on the wall of Adrian Grist? Hmm? There's gotta be an answer. Alright, I'll tell you. When we first met him, I didn't like him at all. He was not the kind of person that you would think that you could be friends with. I thought he was gonna be a lot like his friend Chloe, and he wasn't. He genuinely showed me. He genuinely showed me that he was a good person. The clothes didn't make it matter to me at all. I mean nothing. You just stuttered. When I think about him, I stutter because I don't know if I'm supposed to say the right thing or the wrong thing. Or oh, calm down, Marinette. It's just me and you talking. It's not like he's in the room. Okay, he just winked at me. <laughs> mm. Okay. What do you want to know? Do you like him? Wow, that was a straight out question. Uh, well, um... Only as a friend? So guy isn't here. I'd be so nervous to tell, talk to him about this or around him about, you know, how I feel. Um, yes. I did. You do or you don't? Audio 
All right. I do. How long have you had these emotions? Since the day I met him, and he lent me his umbrella, and never asked for it back. Kitty, are you okay? Meow. <laughs> Careful, you almost fell off the bed. I mean, I say cats land on their feet, but you're kind of small to be landing on your feet. Such a tiny kitten. Get you something. Uh, the kitten by default, he kind of can't drink regular milk. You know, cats don't drink milk, right? Uh, what? They can't drink cow's milk. Um, maybe goat milk might be okay. Goat milk's never harmed them. Um, but they're lactose intolerant. Really, they are. Real cats are. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. All right. Um, one second. Hmm. This is for you, kitten. Go ahead, drink it. How am I supposed to drink this? I was never a cat before. Mm. Are you okay? You can't drink it. Let me show you how. No, she isn't. Oh my god, she is. <laughs> you bend down like this. And you you don't put your whole face in it, okay? You just where your tongue is and then you like that. This is kind of humorous. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Marinette act like a cat, but it's kind of cute. I hope she's okay with me being cat noir later. Well, later on in our friendship. Okay, so let me get this straight. I go over to the bowl. Like that, mm-hmm. Then I bend my face in, and I tilt my chin, and I start licking the milk. Hold on, let's see if I get this right. That's it. That's it. You got it. Oh my gosh, you got milk over your chin. How embarrassing. <laughs> well, don't just stand there and wipe it off my lips or something. <laughs> second that's a lot of milk on your chin let me get a yeah let me get a paper towel oh my goodness you're such a messy kitten you never learn how to drink milk she laughs so hard she got tears in her, in her eyes maybe this laughter wait those are tears or laughter that's what that is and her eyes are so light blue right now Mesmerizing. Uh, if I was eating right now, I'd be blushing. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you made a mess on the floor. Oh my god, did you just tip the bowl over? Uh, oh, great. You just tipped the bowl over. <laughs> Funny cat noir. <laughs> okay, this isn't that funny. 
<laughs> now he knows why. <laughs> I know why I stuck the cheese. <laughs> Noir, are you just gonna laugh or are you gonna help us out here? <laughs> Sorry. I had a fit of laughter just now. <laughs> yeah, the puns. <laughs> okay, here you go. And put this here. Here, Adrian, we'll let the move you out of the way. Oh, okay. I can't believe this. <laughs> Adrian's paws are so wet. Yeah, and sticky. This is very, very sticky. <laughs> Look at him shaking him. What are you standing there? Come on, fix my paws. Okay, here you go. We'll dry him off for you. Thank God. Oh no. Is that water? Why do I have this sudden fear? Yep, you're a kitten, all right. You're scared of water already. <coughs> what am I doing this for? Oh my god, am I acting like a real cat? <coughs> it's okay, it's just water. Okay, okay, that's enough. Wow, he really is acting like a cat now. I wonder if he's gonna remember this experience. Only time will tell him this. <sighs> oh, your heart's beating so fast, you poor little guy. I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm glad you enjoy this. Part 5 will be on its way soon. Sorry, I need to cut it off now because it's way too long. And yeah, for sure. Have a good night. <laughs>